Hey, what's up guys? Today, I want to show you every shrine location in the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. So the first one we're going to be looking at is all the way in the corner called the Igashuk Shrine. That is in the maze in the top right corner of the entire map. That is the location and I'll show you how to get there right now. Okay, so after you reach the platform, go straight. You want to take a left. You're going to want to take a right and then you're going to want to swim. As soon as you hit the platform, you're going to hit that left. You're going to go straight until you hit the second left. And then you're going to want to go straight and then move that platform out of your way. And then you need to grab that chest because it's got a level 50 shield in it. You definitely don't want to leave that behind. And then you're going to want to go straight, take a right, take another right. And then take a left, take a left and another right. And then bam, go up the ladder and you keep going up them stairs and you'll hit the shrine. And there it is, you hit the shrine. Now all that's left is to collect the rewards and you're good to go. Okay, the next shrine we're gonna be looking at is the Razuak Shrine. It is in the top right corner of the map in the Akala region, all the way on the beach near the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. If you wanna zoom in and put your marker on there, feel free you'll be able to find it very easily it's not hidden anywhere so you'll be good to go okay so when you're in the shrine first go up the stairs and you want to put that ball on top of that platform then you're going to want to hit that rope with the bow and arrow connect the ball back to the platform so it stands up so you get on it then you're going to bring that platform back up drop it and then use the rewind function so that you can run up it before it falls down then you're going to want to knock that chest down and you're going to be able to create a floaty with this platform right here and once it's floating you can grab the chest then you can then open the chest after that you can connect the fan to the back of that platform and you will then be able to shoot yourself across make sure to jump off of the platform before taking the ball off the platform or else it will sink and you put the ball on the button and there you go that's the shrine the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Jochi Yu Shrine. This one is located in the top right corner in the Akala region, right under the Bloodleaf Lake, next to the North Akala Foothill, and next to a stable. You could just mark it right here in between the trees. You'll be able to find this one very easily. There's no caves, nothing like that at all. So once you're in the shrine, you're going to see a big Jenga puzzle. You don't want that thing to fall apart or else everything resets. So grab that first piece, connect it to the electricity. Grab that second piece, also connect it to that electricity from the other bar. But then you're going to be able to grab a chest that fell underneath it. Then you can jump on top of that platform and you'll be able to grab the ball in order to complete the quest. Then once you drop that ball in there, it should open up the door. And now... We're just going to open both chests. And then we grab that and we're going to use it as stairs, run up it, grab the second chest. And that's it. That's the entire shrine. The next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Gem Mimic Shrine. This shrine is in the Swirly inside the Akala region. It's just in the middle of a big swirly where it says it's the Risk Peninsula. It's very easy to find. No caves, no hidden anything. It's just right there on the beach. So once you enter the shrine, you're going to want to go to the left side. You're going to want to grab that and connect the electricity together. And then you're going to want to connect the fan to the spinning topper as best as you can. It can be kind of difficult if while it's spinning, I suggest taking it off the platform while it's not spinning. So then once you get the fan started, you could jump into the air and go to the right. If you want to get the chest, I suggest you get it since it is a level 50 chest or not level 50 chest, but a level 50 shield. So then I go and switch the shield and then you want to go and grab a firehead. And you're going to replace that fan on top of that spinner with the firehead, activate the firehead, throw it on top, and that should open the doors and complete the shrine. After that, you can leave and you're good to go. Okay, the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Sinatanica Shrine, which is located basically in the middle of the Akala region, right next to the 
Olry Mountain and the Octora Lake. And you can pretty much see where it is. It's out in the open, very easy to find if you want to mark this spot right here. So once you're in the shrine, this one's actually super simple. All you're going to want to do is sneak attack this robot right here. You just have to do it twice. And um, you could probably put some stealth gear on if it makes it easier for you. That's what I did. Right here, I messed up. He can actually catch you pretty easy if you're not being careful. I was being pretty careless. Then I go around and I hit him successfully. And then it asks you to do it again while he's walking around. This one's not so bad. I basically walk right up to him and bang, that's it. And that is the entire shrine. Okay, so the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Domi Zuin Shrine, which is located in the Akala Citadel Ruins and is at the bottom of the Akala region. And this is what it looks like if you want to mark it, it's super easy to get to, not hidden at all. Okay, so for this shrine, you're going to want to use your ascend ability, jump up that column, and then you're going to want to go over to that thing and smack it, make the whole platform turn, jump on the next one, Smack that one until you can see the chest so that you can go and open it. Then once you open that, you go back, you smack it again and jump on the other chest to your left. And then you see if you want that chest there. And then you'll go and jump back down. You'll hit it one more time and try to go for that third chest. And then once you hit all three chests, you're going to want to make that spin all the way back around until you see that second chest once again, and you're gonna jump back on that second chest. Once you're on that second chest, you're gonna shoot a bow and arrow. Once you get to the top, use your ascend ability to get to the ceiling, and that is the entire shrine. So the next shrine we're gonna be looking at is the Maya Chedek Shrine. This shrine is located on the, on the bottom right of Death Mountain, just as you're entering in the Akala Highlands in the top right of the map. It's super easy to find. There's no cave here, so you can just mark it based on the structure that it looks like right now. Okay, so when you enter the shrine, you're gonna be bare bones and you're gonna have to get whatever weapons they have. You're gonna, your best technique would probably be trying to fight them one-on-one -on -one because they're super annoying when they're all together, especially the long stick guy. Like this guy's chasing me right now. He's always so annoying to fight. So then once you take him out, you could then upgrade your weapons. And I suggest you grab the big stick so that you can fight this guy on the side. This guy on the side actually has the best upgrade on top of his head inside this shrine. So you're going to want to fuse one of your weapons with that after you finish him off. Like I do right here. I think it's like plus 18 or something, something crazy. And then it makes it a lot easier to just attack all your enemies and take them out super quick. And that's basically the entire shrine. The next part is just to go grab your rewards at the chest and you're out. And the final shrine that we're going to be looking at in the Akala region is the Kamatukish Shrine. This shrine is located in the top right of the map in Akala, right between the Skull Lake and Tempest Gulch. It is not hidden inside of a cave. You could just mark your map right here in between these trees and you will be good to go. So once you're in the shrine, you're going to want to connect that rectangle to that hanging object above so that you can swing it at the ball and try to get a hole in one. You're going to have to finesse a good angle with this because it was actually kind of difficult for me, but I got super lucky right here when I was recording and got a hole in one. And then I'll open that for you and you go to, you go to your left, do the same thing on this side, but you got to... You got to time it differently because you got a moving target now. And honestly, this part I think is easier than the first part. And right there, I get a hole in one. And then I open the chest, get a level 15 weapon. And that's it. That's the entire shrine, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.